metaphysical engineer with an update on the Apple time capsule. Here I have pulled out the power supply and desoldered it so it's now just sort of sitting here pending me getting caps to replace the failed ones with. So in the meanwhile I have detached the connectors and then soldered them onto the outputs of a generic Dell ATX power supply. This one I know to be good. The computer it came from provided several years of reliable service. I checked out the power supply, cleaned it up inside. It's all good. It regulates properly. So I'm going to give this a go. I have a little LED indicator on the power good output and have just a 100 ohm resistor here to drag the power on line low and tell the power supply to turn on. So I'm going to do that now and just see what happens. Alright, the LED is on and the time capsule has its amber light on. So, it's working. It's actually starting up. The fan down here gave a bit of a little rev. So, this setup appears to work. I think the next step will be to shut it down again, route these wires out in a way so that I can sort of pop the case back on then take it upstairs and plug it into the Ethernet line from the modem and see if it can power up and stay t turned on and work as a wireless hotspot. So, on to that. After a bit of complaining and a hard reset to get it to factory default settings because it was still not connecting properly, the time capsule is now on, connected to the modem via an ethernet cable, and it's online. It can. There are a couple Pixar movies and some other movies on there, and it's managed to throw them around to the computer quite well, and it seems to be seems to be working all right. So. I'll just keep an eye on it for the next several hours and see if it has any trouble that might have come from having the power supply going funny, but other than that it seems perfectly happy to run on a Dell ATX power supply. Oh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.